it's Demeter and I came up with a really great idea for dehydrating liquids in my Excalibur dehydrator. I really wanted to share it with you. I've been struggling with this for a little while. I know you can dehydrate just about anything in the dehydrator, but liquids have been a special challenge because of the flat trays. Some people on the internet have talked about making a bowl out of parchment paper, uh, but I haven't used that to much success. So here's another idea that I came up with, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I started playing with the idea of actually using a bowl that I would lay the Teflon in, because the Teflon is very easy to get the dried milk off of. When I started playing with the Teflon in the bowl idea, a couple of these clips were sitting on the counter and it just struck me about how flexible this is and could I make a bowl? So by simply folding the two ends together like this, let me put a clip on here. And the deeper, the the bigger you make your corner, the deeper the bowl can be. But really, you're not going to be dehydrating um, several quarts at once, otherwise it'll take forever. You're better off doing uh, about two cups, three cups at a time. And I'll show you what that looks like. So there we have our bowl, you can see the edge of that, how deep it is. It's about almost two inches deep. You can put quite a bit of stuff in here. All right, so here I have some Almond Breeze reduced sugar almond milk and vanilla. And I'm going to pour two cups. Next, I'm going to put this in my dehydrator. I want to show you. This is about a cup and a half of almond milk right here that I put in the dehydrator a couple of hours ago. And it's just starting to dehydrate. And here is what it looks like once it's already dehydrated past the liquid stage and now it's tacky. And what I will do is while it's still slightly tacky, I will um, peel this up and flip it over and then put the net sheet over it to prevent it from flying around inside the dehydrator. something that I was dehydrating earlier today using this method. This is a great flour-free mushroom and beef broth that I um, used with arrowroot powder to thicken it up and it dried really well and I can't wait to use this in my recipes. It smells so good very oniony and beef, beefy. So it feels like it's really nice and dry the whole way around. Now I can dry up to two cups of liquids at a time without any problem. Way easier. In closing, this is Demeter and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave some comments and to check out my blog at demetersdish.blogspot.com and Look back for some more videos in the future. Thanks. Happy hiking.